Have you ever thought about a true gift that someone's given to you? I mean a real gift. Hi, welcome back to Fred's Food for Thought. Once again, broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona at 103, 104 degrees. Dry heat, of course, not like the humidity back home. When I ask you that question, what gifts come to mind? What gift has someone given you? Let me share a story with you. Several years ago, I read in the obituary section of the paper that Sister Mary Isabel had passed away. Sister Isabel was a member of the Most Holy Sacrament Sisters in the Lafayette area, and she was my kindergarten and first grade teacher. So I thought it was only right that I should attend the service for her at Bethany, which was the home for, uh, for elderly nuns and where she, where she died and where her service was being held. So I went and mingled with some of the family, and I walked up to the casket to pay my respects. And as I looked at Sister Isabel lying there, I had these thoughts that came to mind from when I was in the first grade. I remember her at the blackboard, and above the blackboard was that, that alphabet in green, on green cardboard capital letters, lowercase letters, and every morning she would get up there with a pointer and she would point to each letter and we would, ha we would go through phonics and have to pronounce each letter and the sound it made. And it was at that moment I realized that Sister Isabel was the person who taught me how to read and write. What a revelation for me, something you never really give much thought to. At least I didn't. But here I was paying honor and respect to the woman who taught me how to read and write some 50 years before. And it's something that I've held in my heart to this very day. And I would ask you to reflect upon the person who taught you how to read and write. Because you understand, learning to read and write is what brought you to where you are today. That person who taught you that skill, that necessary skill, is so greatly responsible for who you are and where you are and where you have arrived in life today. So those of you who maybe are young enough to still have your first or kindergarten teacher around, why not take a moment and reach out to them and express your gratitude for what they taught you, that they taught you how to read and write they help develop you into a full human being. Until next time, I'm Fred Reggie. Thanks for watching.